Good morning. Hey, happy Monday to you. I'm Pastor Joanna Gregg, and today is Monday, November 16th, 2020. Thanks for joining us. This is Daily Devotions and um, offered to you, coming to you from Mount Horeb Lutheran Church. Today, we are opening um, the word up to Zechariah, and it is really, well, in this Bible, it's halfway. It's, it's the second to last, at least that's what I counted, the second to last book in the Old Testament. Um, yeah, second to last. Zechariah. And um, while everything in the Bible is not linear in the way that we think of it as chronological, this is, um, it makes sense is what I'm saying, is that it's the second to last book in the Old Testament for um, the people have been exiled and have come back from their Babylonian captivity at the beginning of Zechariah. So that's where we pick it up. And we are looking at Zechariah chapter 1, 7 through 17. Um, so hear these words, and as you do, think about how this word is offered as a living word, one that we can ask questions about, see what jumps out to us, and also um, hear in a new way or in an old way how God is speaking to us through it in our time and our place. All right, 7 through 17, chapter 1. On the 24th day of the 11th month, the month of Shabbat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah, son of Berechai, son of Iddo, and Zechariah said, In the night I saw a man riding on a red horse. He was standing among the myrtle trees in the glen, and behind him were red, sorrel, and white horses. Then I said, What are these, my lord? The angel who talked with me said, said to me, I will show you what they are. So the man was standing among the myrtle trees answered, there, they are those whom the Lord has sent to patrol the earth. Then they spoke to the angel of the Lord who was standing among the myrtle trees. <coughs> we have patrolled the earth and lo, <coughs> excuse me, the whole earth remains at peace. Then the angel of the Lord said, O oh Lord of hosts, how long will you withhold mercy from Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, with which you have been angry at these seventy years? Then the Lord replied with gracious and comforting words to the angel who talked with me. So the angel who talked with me said to me, Proclaim this message. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I am very jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion. And I am extremely angry with the nations that are at ease. For while I was only a little angry, they made the disaster worse. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I have returned to Jerusalem with compassion. My house shall be built in it, says the Lord of hosts, and the measuring line shall be stretched out over Jerusalem. Proclaim further, thus says the Lord of hosts, my cities shall again overflow with prosperity. The Lord will again comfort Zion and again choose Jerusalem. This is the word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So as you can hear in this opening um, prophecy from Zechariah, the people have felt um, a away of distant distanced from God distanced um, literally from Jerusalem and this Zechariah proclaims that again God chooses Jerusalem and again the house of the Lord shall be built and there will be prosperity and there will be comfort and this is the hope that the people have lived in for, well, it says 70 years, but that's um, just probably a literary tool, not exactly 70 years, but for a really long time. Um, so today, um, 
what jumps out to me right from the start is is hope people hope for different things the people who were in exile hoped to go back to jerusalem hoped to rebuild the temple that was destroyed and um hoped for god and for connection with god even though their ancestors had done some things that we know of throughout the old testament how they did not listen to um the prophets that god sent i'm trying to find where where it says even though um god says even though i said return to me and i will return to you don't be like your ancestors and um listen to me is what god is saying through the prophets um and hope is what stands out to me and probably to a lot of people um what do we hope in and what is the difference between hoping and wishing is really what i thought about this morning because uh wishing is is kind of like a flying by the seat of your pants sort of uh whimsical idea but hoping hoping in the lord hoping um in our faith is more sturdy and more solid and more a matter of how we live our life um so for example <laughs> my son just got his braces off and i hoped that uh you know once he got his, all that metal removed from his mouth that it would all be well and fixed and that we would not have to worry about it anymore um and that it, and it went well it went successfully but he has a retainer as you know if you have anybody in your life who's gone through the orthodontics world um and that's kind of the analogy that i think of in the same way things that we wish for aren't are i mean things that we wish for are kind of a one goal kind of thing things that we hope in are a continuing um, process and a continuing anchor in our lives and of course the um the hymn that i think of is our hope is built on nothing less than jesus christ and god's righteousness or his righteousness is that what it says no merit of my own i claim i wholly lean on jesus name and that is what i um, pass on to you through this devotion and that we hopefully ha huh, i guess pun intended there live in this day and always as our faith is our center and jesus christ is our center thanks be to god for all of that and for all of you let us pray dear god you are our hope thank you for choosing us as your people for choosing us in your creation for giving us the hope that is only found in you we know as we go through our lives and through our days that the whimsical wishes of our uh, lives are nothing in comparison to the center of our faith, which is in Jesus Christ. Thank you for the people who are listening today, for the people who you hold in your hand, and for the people who we hold in our hearts, and for all those who do not know that they are being prayed for, God, we hold up in your name and um, ask for healing and wholeness for all of creation. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. I hope you have a great Monday.